All right, good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning. This is the first Sunday that these guys have work. Getting some uh, work done this week. So hopefully, let's uh, see what we got going on. Uh, should be a, a little bit of work going on. Yesterday was like sleepy hollow time. A little bit of direction. We had to start completely new stuff going on. So today, it'll be different, hopefully. So they got this whole stretch done now. I think they might have done it yesterday, but I didn't come down, so I'm not 100% sure. But it looks like they are working on this little straight stretch right here going across over to here. Looks like they're having fun. There's quite a bit of crew here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, I was just asking where the guys were for where the foreman is, and it is church day for him. He does not work on Sundays, pretty much no matter what. <laughs> but the rest of the guys, they're all right with working. Hey, my husband. You wanna come? <laughs> yeah, I am once I find a I am here at the top, and I'm kinda scary. Because this is where I'm stepping on with my slippers. Not really prepared to come up here to be wearing tennis shoes. But anyway, I'm just checking out how they do this uh, part because this is all the column that will carry the whole pressure from the top. This is all the splices in the middle. This is the middle of the house. And this is all the ties that they're doing. They did this uh, pretty easy because uh, it's only like 8.30 or maybe not even. I guess they started at 7 a.m. in the morning and it's less than 8.30 a.m. So they finished this part already. They said this is easier especially they have that support scaffolding so they have something to carry all the weights of the rebar they're almost done this one they did it all six of the 16 mm i know i mentioned yesterday that this one needs extra two more of the 16 mm because they still have to uh put the uh, downspout and the foreman is not here and they're doing all just the easier part because that down spot is a little bit more complicated to do right now and they're gonna put some piping for the wiring well this is the environment around our house <laughs> Well, he is preparing for the second beam and the guys over there are setting up the, the fourth beam, I guess. And it's in the short side, this beam is. So yeah, this is how they uh, do this. It's like they do alternate. That's where the band is over here. And then he's setting up another one. It's the band and then the band over here. So he is uh, he is calculating how many requires to have over there, so he can hand out all these specifically how much they needed on the top. Well, I guess there's a trick to make everything so fast. All the seven crew are at the same spot, and the rest of the labor are going to tie them out. Maybe the scale will just start another beam somewhere. Yeah, so I think he is trying to uh, do this part next. All the way there. Alright, there you go. He is now measuring it out after he, he set it up. After he set that one, he's moving on to this one. Yeah. 
actually doing his own tools for the twisting of the tire wires. Alrighty, it is lunch time. Actually, almost lunch time. They're waiting on the foreman right now, but uh, they did this little section right here while we were gone from lunch. So, better view over here. You know, it's the span is good done. But, uh, yeah. Oh, they're waiting on the foreman to give them some more information on uh, what's next to do. Or about some spices and other stuff, I don't know. And Ranger and the basketball, having his fun. He's crazy about a basketball. I'm not sure what his deal is. They're waiting for what kind of splicing they're going to do over here in this crazy window corner. Things are sort of stopped. I don't know why they can't work on some other sections of this. But uh, there's a lot of different stuff going on that they could be working on. But I don't know. That's not my call. Alright, it is after lunch already. Come to check on things and see how things are going. But just got here we just noticed they took the the, uh, the forms these ones actually came out pretty good the only thing I got an issue with is that ugly thing down there and I know they will fix it and make it all nice looking pretty but because uh, the angle that it was in they threw a piece of uh, cocoa lumber down there to stop the uh, concrete from flowing out but uh yeah I, I don't know but i know it, it'll be all right i guess now we're looking at the other one that they did it actually looks a little bit better even the base looks better than than this one all right so they have uh, moved on a little bit got this little piece that they're working on kind of think if uh what else have they got going on? Actually, they've done more. I'm just looking around I'm like, man, they're missing all the plywood that they used for up here. So, all the headers that they did for our windows took all the plywood off of them. Don't look too bad. Keep seeing little uh, little uh, pieces of uh, twisty ties hanging out of the concrete. Not sure what happened there. Some more. Of this. Oh, this is all off of here, all the way around. I haven't checked the outside, but I was noticing something else. Man, you really gotta watch where you're going. See all this uh. The little cut up pieces of plywood are laying on the ground, they're full of nails. They're just waiting for someone to step on it. And they're big nails too, so they'll go right through your uh, slippers. Uh, this actually looks pretty good up here. This is above our uh, big glass sliding door. And this is the crazy contraption. They still haven't taken this support down. I don't know when they will. I'll probably let it cure some more. And here's the outside on the back wall. I know all those dowels that are sticking out, I think are all going to end up coming out. And I think up here they got to do some reinforcements for our water tanks. Our water tank I think is going to sit right around in this, up in this top area in the corner. So, I think the reason why these guys were uh, taking all these down on the inside and the outside is uh, I would suspect since uh, they're going to have these done by tomorrow, I'll have all these beams done and ready to go tomorrow. I think we might get a shipment of some plywood because these guys definitely need some pot plywood. So they can start forming these up. But I think they got some other stuff to do around here. Not 100% sure. The foreman ain't here. And I don't know exactly what's the next step for uh, what's going on for here. I know uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's uh, going to happen here very shortly. And I'm not sure uh, 
what way they're gonna go with it because I know they gotta well they gotta pour the, these um, beams I know we're gonna be putting in some C joists I know after that I think the flooring but uh, I think there's a few other uh, steps I am missing in the middle of all this <laughs> My husband is trying to get up there. <laughs> Be careful, my God. There he is. He made it. Crazy splicing going on right here in the center. What can I say? I can't say anything. Okay, my husband is trying to get down. <laughs> oh, down's easier than going up. Oh, okay. I guess it's easier to go down than going up. Hey. Wow. All right, everybody. That's about it for the day. And I got some uh, beams done. A little bit of this and a little bit of that done. Um, need more direction, I think, because uh, what's going on? The foreman ain't here. He's at church. And, well, Christian, he's at church too. So, anyways, <laughs> the workers can only do what they can get done, what they know, what was planned ahead, ahead of time. Since uh, uh, a little lot, a little bit uh, non communication for today, but hey, the guy's got some stuff done. Anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed our video. Uh, like it if you enjoyed it. I know there's a few people out there that don't. They hit the down button all the time. I think it's the same. Seem like nine people always hitting that button down. But you know what? Hey, they're watching our videos. It's fine by me. Go for it. <laughs> Anyways, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button down here if you want to get notified. We'll see you tomorrow. You know, tomorrow is the 30th. Yes. So, day before New Year's Eve. It'll be a fun one, I think. I know we got a lot of stuff going on. We got a, a wedding party at 7 a.m. to go to, but I don't think we're going to make it because I'm going to be right here videoing these guys. And then I still has a class reunion tomorrow, so uh, I'm not sure how much we'll get done, and uh, if we'll be here or whatnot. And then also on the 31st, these guys are doing a half day work session to make up for you know for that one week of uh, not having uh, any pay. So and don't forget, guys, to like our Facebook page. Just search "Retired and Happy in the Philippines" and. Hope you guys support us on that uh, page and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.